Okay, so we're ready to begin skinning our rat. And the first thing that we should do, the first thing that we need to do is, is we get a couple wet paper towels and put them down. And this always makes it easier working with the rat because it's, uh, number one, it helps to keep the rat moist, but probably more importantly, when we're done at the end of the day, clean up as a breeze because I just have to fold the paper towels up. Now the tools I'm going to use are primarily a pair of scissors. I do uh, get a, a nice sharp scalpel. Um, I would encourage you though not to rely too heavily on the scalpel. Uh, students who are dissecting tend to go scalpel crazy and I think your manual alludes to this when really your best dissecting instrument is a nice pair of scissors that has both a blunt tip and a sharp tip. I'm also going to use a pair of tissue forceps. I've also got a good blunt probe. Uh, you can never underestimate the importance of a good blunt probe. Now on my rat, um, I'm going to start with a cut on the ventral surface of the rat and I've taken an, and, and I've taken a marker and actually drawn the lines on this guy uh, of where I need to cut. But I'm going to start with a cut running right down the midline. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a mid-sagittal cut and then from there I'm going to extend that cut out uh, to the arms and the legs and what I'm going to end up with is almost like a door of skin that I can open on the front here. So my first incision, always exciting when you make that first cut, I'm going to take my scissors and what I want to do is I'm going to pinch the skin right here in the middle of his belly and as I pinch that skin I can separate that skin from the very thin layer of muscle tissue that's underneath it. And so once I have that piece of skin pinched up I'm going to make just a, a small little incision or a small little snip. And from there I can pull, lift the skin up, get my scissors underneath it and start to open the skin up. It's important to understand that the skin is very closely connected to this thin layer of muscle tissue underneath it. So we don't want to we don't want it to go too crazy and start cutting too deep because we could really um, damage the muscle and get into the abdominal cavity sooner than we want to. So once I have that established I can just again applying pressure pulling up on my skin I can just continue this cut again using my scissors not my scalpel all the way up through the thoracic region and into the neck. Now from there it just becomes not so much cutting as it is pulling. As, as I pull this skin back I see that this white connective tissue, this loose connective tissue binds that skin to the underlying musculature. And so as I work around the rat now the, the, the task is going to be to separate the skin from that muscle underneath it and I can do that either using my blunt probe or what I actually like to use is my scissors and I'll take uh, the, blunt, the blunt side of the scissors and use it, run it underneath the skin to really separate that skin from the underlying muscle. And then as I, as I do that, as I separate that skin, I get these pockets and that makes it really easy then to extend my cut down the leg. And I'm just going to work around. Same thing up here. Using the blunt end of my scissors to separate. I'm not cutting so much as I am just separating that skin from the underlying muscle. snip here. And just like that I've already got one side of the ventral surface of my rat taken care of.
So I now have the ventral surface of my rat more or less opened up. Now a couple things I want to point out here. First is you're going to end up with this little flap of skin down here uh, towards the inguinal region. I'm just going to cut that off and set it to the side. That will be important. Um, we'll need to get to this region when we do uh, the urogenital system, so we do need that exposed. So just cut off that little piece of skin. Uh, we're not going to need it again. And then the other thing, as I work my way around to the back here, you're going to see as you get around the arms, there's going to be an area here where, where you start cutting through some muscle. And students always freak out when they get to this part because they don't want to cut muscle. Well, this is a muscle called the cutaneous trunchi that's actually attached to the skin. It runs from underneath the armpit here, the axillary region, originates underneath the armpit there, and then inserts actually as a broad, flat sheet underneath the skin and that's the muscle that's going to allow this rat just like a lot of other small mammals to move their skin and you've probably experienced this when you've gone to pet a cat or pet a dog and they kind of tighten their skin up it's that muscle the cutaneous trunchi that allows that to happen now you're going to have to cut through it there's no way not to so go ahead and just give it a little snip there uh, behind the armpit behind the shoulder and then you can continue separating skin from back. Over here, get my other side caught up. Give a little snip behind the arm to get through the cutaneous trunk eye. And close. Now as I move around the back, again I'm not cutting, I'm using, using the edge of my scissors to just separate that skin. Separating that skin from the underlying muscle tissue. And as I get a big flap here, I can just start cutting. Working my way back. nice thing about doing this with a pair of scissors is it gets really, really easy as you get a big flap separated, as you get an area here where you can really get your finger underneath it. You just turn the scissors around, give it a snip, and it becomes almost like peeling an orange. Now the, the shoulders up here, I'm not going to worry too much about that. We'll go up on the neck just a little bit, but I'm not going to worry too much about getting the shoulder cleaned up. Uh, at this point, because right now I'm not interested in the muscular system. If I was going to come back and wanted to look at some of those muscles on the shoulder, then I'll have to do a much more careful job of skinning this area. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the skin on right there. skin up then along the back again I'm just kind of separating not cutting but separating that skin from the underlying tissues I'm going to go right along the shoulder here because again I'm not really interested in in the shoulder musculature right now I can always get that uh, later on Now I've got two options at this point. The rat is more or less skinned. We're gonna uh, in just a minute. We're gonna take a little more off the chest, but but the main skin is off. Now every night when you store this rat, you're gonna wrap him up in his skin. Um, that'll help keep him moist. So you know at this point it's kind of up to you. You can either go ahead and leave it attached as it is right now, uh, and that'll make it easy to to put it back down there at the end of the day. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it. I'm gonna go ahead and snip it. Cut it off. That way it's out of my way, but again, I'm going to save it, and, and that way I can wrap my rat in it when I'm done. Uh, I'm going to roll the rat back over 
to his and look at his ventral surface again. So he's laying uh, supine for me. And I've got just a couple flaps of skin here, the last little bit that I want to get off the chest. And again, the little pieces of skin, I'm not that interested in saving. I can set them to the side. And so now uh, my rat is done and he's ready to be dissected. Again, if I was going to do the muscular system, if I was interested in the muscular anatomy of my rat, I would go ahead and, and finish off, uh, finish skinning the legs, finish skinning the shoulder and the arm, and even get up here into the neck and into the cheek. Uh, but for right now, uh, I'm really happy with, uh, with what I've got. So I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and clean up for today. And part of that's going to involve taking the skin, wrapping him back up, That'll help keep him moist. Put him in a bag with a little bit of preservative solution. And this guy is ready to be stored until I come back to work on him more uh, another day.